here this morning at Underwater World at Mooloolaba. Now, conservation has become a hot point around the world, but also here in Australia, while more of us start to understand that the environment is very fragile and it's definitely worth looking after. And one of the latest issues is that of the grey nurse shark. Now, to give you a rough idea, on the east coast of Australia, there's only around 500 of these animals left. So it's a big problem, and someone here to tell us all about it is Richard Leck from WWF. How are you, mate? Yeah, good, thanks, David. Welcome to the show. Oh, mate, thanks for having me along. Mate, these numbers are absolutely atrocious, aren't they? Yeah, it's really frightening for the future of the species. Um, the, the numbers have got down to, to such a level that the species is finding it very, very difficult to recover. And the reason why that's happened is because the, the, the shark's been targeted for, for many years by recreational commercial um, fishers. And it's just got down to a level where we're really worried that this, this species may not recover at all. The greater shark is endangered. Obviously, those numbers are so low. What's the biggest threat to the greater shark? The biggest threat is commercial and recreational fishing. Um, and even though the, the, the shark is protected by law, you're not allowed to legally target it. Scientists estimate there's still one grain earth shark a month being killed by human activities. That might be being entangled in, in line or in nets or, or things like that. But it's obviously not good enough. We obviously need to give these, these creatures more protection. With that as well, Kerry Ann, one of the interesting things is that there's a fine of uh, up to $220,000 and two years imprisonment if you uh, do harm a grain earth shark. So the governments are taking this seriously, aren't they? They are taking it seriously on that front, but unfortunately they're not taking it seriously in terms of protecting the key habitats of the grain earth shark. Um, but the Queensland government has actually done a very good job in protecting four sites in South East Queensland and that's fabulous but unfortunately the New South Wales government there's 16 key sites that have been identified and they don't have the protection they deserve and what conservationists are arguing for is for greater priority to be given to protecting those sites. Okay and obviously those sites are just so important for breeding and also feeding and just getting the animals comfortable. This is true. Um, grey nose sharks in many ways are, are, are like the couch potatoes of the shark world. They hang out in one place for a long period of time, they hang out there with their mates just waiting for an easy feed. Um, and so it's easy to know where they are. And as I said, there's only a few sites. Um, so we're really looking to get them protected and to try and give the chance, the best, the shark the best chance of recovery. Okay, and with the footage that we're getting as well, um, the grey nose shark, obviously, they've got a bit of a bad rap in the past because they just look so... They're crazy looking animals just where they're massive teeth and things like that. But I've been diving with them before and they're so placid. Yeah, David, I mean, that's a terrible irony about the grey nose shark. They're, they're a fearsome looking animal and that's probably been a, a, a terrible case of mistaken identity. They look as though they could seriously do you some harm, but there's actually never been a reported attack from a grey nose shark on a human. I've been diving with them as well. They're like little, you know, like puppy dogs down yeah. there. You can get quite close. You can, big teeth. Yeah, big, very big teeth. <laughs> um, you can get quite close, you can have a look, and that's actually why they're becoming a really um, popular tourist attraction with divers and things like that. It's a rare opportunity to get in the water with a big shark, feel safe, and get to check out just how beautiful they are, because they are, as you can see, stunning creatures. And WWF just had a symposium uh, trying to sort of move this grey nurse shark uh, project along. Yeah, we did. We just had a crisis meeting with conservationists and scientists to try and raise awareness about the plight of the grey nurse shark, um, and also to make an urgent call to government to protect those key habitat sites. Um, at the moment, uh, I just don't think there's enough awareness out there about how close we are to losing this species forever. Yeah. Um, and that's what that meeting was about. It'd be a massive shame, wouldn't it? It would. I mean, if you think about if it was a koala or a Tasmanian devil that only had 500 numbers left in Australia, we'd be doing everything we could to save it. Yeah. But perhaps because it's a shark and perhaps because it lives underwater, out of sight, out of mind, it just hasn't got that same priority. Yeah, well, there you go. Make sure you're not scared of the sharks anymore, you lot out there. Uh, if you do want some more information, you can go to www.wwf.org.au and all the information's on there. Yep, it, it is. You can um, click on and you can make a submission and you can really help um, to get some critical habitat site for this shark protected. Fantastic. Well, otherwise, if you do want to get up close and personal, come on down here to Underwater World. And uh, you can even go diving with these little fellas down here. Thanks very much, Kerry-Ann. Cheers, Dan.